All right, so if you have done the video lessons with me and you've done the step in and you're feeling good about telling time to the five minute increments, then you are ready to start your math journal. Okay, so make sure you have your math journal open and you're open to pages 306 and 307. And what I want you to check first is to make sure that this blue clock up here in the step in section is fully completed and it's correct. So it looks just like mine. So take a second to check that your clock matches mine. And this is because this big blue clock in the step in is going to be really helpful for you to check your work while you do all of your problems here today. Okay, so just take one second to pause the video and check and make sure that your clock matches mine. All right, so if your step in is done, we're ready to get started. So for number one, it says write each time. So you'll notice that this, the purple clocks are giving us the hour. So they're telling us what hour we're going, the minute hand is going past, but it's our job to figure out how many minutes past the hour it is, okay? We could probably have solved for the hour hand ourselves because that's something we have been doing since we started working with clocks at the beginning of the year, but that's okay because the purple clocks are just going to help us out and it's a little bit less we have to do. We're going to ease our way into figuring out the hour hand for this journal work. So blank minutes past eight. So we're going to look at the minute hand to figure out how many minutes past eight it is. So. Look at the long hand, it's on the one, so that means it's only one step of five. We're only going one step of five. So, how many minutes past eight? If it's pointing at the one, it is five minutes past eight. We just have to count by fives one time. The way you can check that is coming over here to the blue step-in clock and we can check. Is the one a five? Yes. So it's five minutes past eight. And you're going to do the same thing for B and C. Over here in the green clocks for number two, you're not just putting in the minutes now, how many minutes past the hour it is. You're also plugging in the hour, okay? Which should not be a problem because, like I said, we've been doing this since the beginning of second grade. But what I am going to do is I am going to make an H over where you're going to put the hour and then I'm going to put an M over where you're going to put the minutes and how many minutes past the hour it is. The reason I'm doing this is because this is a new skill for us. It's not something we're used to. So I'm just being extra careful and making sure this is a way I'm going to check my work. So if I were you, I would take a few minutes to fill in the M and the H so that you know where to put your minutes and your hours so you do not get confused. Okay, you can pause the video if you need some more time. If not, let's keep going. So blank minutes past what hour? So... I'm going to first look at the minute hand, and I see the minute hand is pointing to the four. I know that I'm going to have to count by fives all the way to the four. So I'm going to start at one, five, ten, fifteen, twenty. So we're twenty minutes past what hour? Let's take a look. We're taking a look at the hour hand, and if you draw a line, we'll see that the last number it passed was 7. So it's 20 minutes past 7. I am going to check my work by looking over at our step-in clock and making sure that my minute hand is correct. So if my minute hand were pointing to the 4, it says it's 20 minutes, and that's what I have. So I'm right. Great, and I can move on to B. 
I'll do be with you too since this is a new skill and we're just learning. So let's do be. Minutes, hours. I'm going to look at the minute hand first, which is our longer hand, and our longer hand is pointing towards the eight. So I'm going to have to count by fives all the way to eight. But if we want to be the best second grade mathematician we can be, what I'm going to do is I'm going to remember that I know that six is 30 because we've been working with that for such a long time. I'm just going to count on from 30. So I'm going to go 30, 35, 35 and 5 is 40. So I know to put my 40 under the minutes, okay? And now I'm checking my hours. 40 minutes passed. What, what hour did we pass? We're past 2. This clock says 40 minutes past 2. Let's check and make sure our 8 is 40. Over here, 8. Find the 8 and yes, 40. Okay, so the biggest thing to remember is that your minutes goes here, hours goes here, and then you can always check your minutes with the blue clock. Down here for the step ahead, it says count in steps of five to figure out how many minutes have passed. So this is what I would do if I were you. We see that the start time here is 15 minutes past four. Five, 10, 15. So we are starting right here on the three and I know it's past four. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to check where I ended. Okay, so the minute hand ended way up here on the one. So I'm going to label on one clock the start and the end. We cannot go this way, can we? Nope, I can't go that way. I have to go clockwise. I have to go the way the hands usually move on the clock. And I'm going to count all the way to the one. I have to count by what number though? We must count by five, okay? Because five minutes pass from three to four, that is five minutes. From four to five, that is five minutes. So let's go ahead and let's start counting by fives until we get to the one. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. So, 50 minutes have passed from there to there, okay? I'll get you started for number B, for letter B. So, the minute hand on this clock is starting on the seven, and then where is it ending? Ending right over here on the three. So your job is going to be to count from the seven all the way to the three and make sure you're counting by fives, okay? And you go in the right direction. If you go in this direction, you're not gonna get the right answer, okay? Don't forget to check all of your minutes with the step in clock and good luck.